Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync Chime with Google Contacts so that as you add contacts to your phone, they automatically get uploaded into Chime. You can follow up with them. And if you get any leads and add them into Chime, they'll automatically be on your phone. That way when they call you, their name shows up in the caller ID, not just a mystery number. Super easy to set up, let me show you how. First thing we're gonna do is go to apination.com. Then I'm gonna click on Discover Connections. And you're gonna see a bunch of different apps available to sync and automate. So we're gonna scroll on down until we see Google Contacts. There it is over here. These are all alphabetical. So I'm gonna click on that. And now I can see all the apps I can sync with Google Contacts. And Google Contacts is an awesome contact manager if you're not familiar. It powers most smartphones. You can use it with iPhones. You can use it with Android phones. Uh, it's also tied into Gmail. So if you're a Gmail user, you're using Google Contacts, you might not even know it. So I chose Chime and Google Contacts, and you can see I have two options here. Chime leads into Google Contacts and Google Contacts into Chime. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Chime into Google Contacts first. So I'll click Activate. Step one, confirm I'm not currently using any other platform to sync these two apps together. If I am, it's gonna be too many cooks in the kitchen. I could end up with some duplicates. So go ahead and just click this and make sure this is the only tool you're using to sync these two apps. And then click Connect Google Contacts. Choose your professional Google account here. And allow. All right, Google Contacts is now connected to API Nation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect Chime. I'll click Connect Chime. And then I just need to sign into Chime. So put in my email and then your password for Chime and hit Login. So those are your Chime credentials. Those are not your API Nation credentials. And authorize the connection from your Chime account to API Nation. All right, now that I've signed into Chime, I've signed into Google Contacts, now we're ready to set up the sync to activate. So here you can see we have a few options before we activate our sync. First, the Chime Contacts. Do I wanna send all my Chime Contacts over? or do I only wanna start sending any new and updated contacts from today going forward? Most people wanna send over all their contacts, so I would suggest clicking this box. That way it's gonna send over all your Chime contacts into Google Contacts. Here you can also filter by source. So for example, if you have a source in Chime like Open House, you can only have those leads sent over for Facebook, lead ads, anything like that. If you only want to send those specific leads over to this Google account, you can do that. And go ahead and clear that out. It's going to go back to the example. You can also decide to send over specific groups from Chime. The examples they give are sphere of influence or referrals. So I would just type those in there, add a comma if you're going to add more than one, and you can send over just those specific groups. Finally, you can also send them over by agent. So maybe I'm only going to send over my one agent's contact into the Google Contacts. I'm gonna send over everybody, I'm gonna send over all agents, I'm creating a master list here. And then the last option, if you wanna do it by tag, instead of groups, source, or agent, you could do that. So maybe you've been tagging people, you know, send to phone, and that's kind of the trigger you would like to send them to your Google Contacts. You could do it that way also. I'm gonna go ahead and clear them all out. I wanna sync everybody, I've checked this box, I want everybody into my Google Contacts. I'm gonna come down here to the Google Contact and you can see the folder we're working with in Google Contacts is default. Everybody sent to Chime is just getting dropped into Google Contacts. I can create a little more specificity here if I want. I can, for example, create a folder called Chime. There we go. And now I have a special folder in Google Contact. Any contact that comes from Chime gets placed in that folder. So I know where it came from. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna have it work with that folder Chime instead of the default. And I'm also going to choose not to overwrite any information in Google Contacts. If I already have a contact in there, just fill in the blanks. Don't overwrite it from scratch. That looks good. Down here we have some mapping. So you can just go through here and make sure this makes sense. First name, last name. This is all done mostly for you. If there's anything else you want to add, just click it on the left-hand side and click it on the right. You match it up. This all looks great. I'm gonna activate this sync. All right, so this sync is running. You can see it's gonna sync every 10 minutes and send over any new or updated contacts from Chime into Google Contacts. 
Let's go ahead and set up the second half of the sync. So I'm gonna click this Chime logo to go back to all the syncs available for Chime. Come on down here to Google Contacts. And then we're gonna go Google Contacts back into Chime. So I'm gonna activate that. All right, so these settings are for the contacts coming from Google Contacts into Chime. And the plan was to go ahead and send everybody from that special Chime folder. So I'm gonna select that folder first. There it is. If I want all my Google Contacts sent into Chime from that Chime folder, I can go ahead and do that by clicking this box. I'm gonna come down here and look at how these contacts will be treated in Chime as they come across. Do I wanna overwrite information? No, I just wanna fill in the blanks. So I'll go ahead and check this box, just fill in those blanks. And as they come over, do I want them assigned to a specific agent? I'm gonna go ahead and sign it to my demo agent here. Finally, again, we have mappings, names, emails. Make sure everything is lined up how you'd like. And then if you just go to the top, you can activate the sync as well. And there we go. We've created a two-way sync between Google Contacts and Chime. I can click up here in My Syncs to take a look at them. There they are, two active syncs. If I need to pause them, I can just click the toggle if I want. And that's it. Now Google Contacts is connected to Chime. Every contact I add to one will also be added or updated in the other. My caller ID is always gonna be updated. My CRM is always gonna have my latest contacts. I'm going to be more productive, and that means more deals. So if you have any questions or need any help setting this up, including live support, go to apination.com. You could also shoot us an email or give us a phone call. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.